Hi, this is Scott Roberts, and you're at the 2012 Neve Show, and you're inside the Explore Scientific Mobile Showroom. And here we've got all of our telescopes, our eyepieces, and some new stuff that we haven't ever shown before. So we're happy to uh, be part of uh, Neve, and you know, let's show you some of the new stuff that we have. Um, of course, Explore Scientific is well known for its eyepieces. Uh, we do uh, nitrogen purge and argon purged waterproof eyepieces. These eyepieces you can actually rinse underwater to get them clean and um, uh, to get them spotless all the way to the very edges. They'll never fog up. They don't get dirty on the inside. And, uh, you know, entirely leak proof. Entirely leak proof and it protects the investment of the optics. Zero so. molecules. Zero molecules, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so we've added to this a couple of eyepieces. You know, we also do wide field eyepieces. So yes. we, we have a 68 degree series with long eye relief. We have an 82 degree series, very popularly priced. Uh, and then uh, we introduced a 100 degree series and we've started to expand the line. This is a new 25 millimeter focal length, 100 degree eyepiece. Wow. And so this is something we'll be. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, Astronomy Magazine does a nice review on you this at one point. So. And you'll see a lot of these at star parties. Oh, yeah. Here. Yes. Yeah. And so this, this eyepiece will be introduced at uh, $599 mm -hmm. and has uh, our new enhanced multi-deposition coatings on there. Awesome. This is the world's widest apparent field eyepiece for astronomy, 120 degree uh, eyepiece, oh. 9 millimeter focal length. And, uh, you know, if you want to use high power on your daub, you don't have tracking, this, the object will stay in the field of view for a very long time. <laughs> okay? So, um, uh, images of uh, planetary nebula or galaxies, globulars, are just breathtaking in this eyepiece. Um, about half of the people that we tested this with could see the whole field of view, mm -hmm. just barely. I can just mm -hmm. barely detect it. Yeah. Uh, and about half couldn't see it at all. They could. They were just immersed in stars. Wow. So it's... Uh, That's amazing. I think it's the limit of yeah. Uh, yeah. what we can do, you know, as far as apparent field and, and what uh, the human eye can mm -hmm. work with. Mm -hmm. um, over here in the corner down here, too, we have something called the Telescope Drive Master. Mm -hmm. And the Telescope Drive Master attaches to popular equatorial mounts and will almost completely eliminate periodic error, wow. uh, taking it down to less than one arc second. So Terrific. This uses a high-resolution encoder, an electronics box that divides the encoder steps up many, many times. It gives a feedback into the drive corrector um, so that uh, it's constantly adjusting for the right rate. Very important accessory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so we move down the wall here, mm -hmm. and we have our uh, kind of an introductory line of products from Bresser. Mm -hmm. Explore Scientific is the distributor for Bresser in the Americas, and um, so we're showing, just introducing people to some of the new um, uh, Messier line that's out right now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's actually being distributed and sold in Europe. We're going to bring it here to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, Bresser is a 54-year-old brand, and uh, have a lot of different products from binoculars to microscopes to telescopes. Mm -hmm. On the other wall over here, we have uh, the popular uh, Acromats. These are our AR series airspace doublets. They're just crown and flint doublets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, like all Explore Scientific uh, products, they are anaferometrically tested and guaranteed to be 0.25 PV or better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, these come with two speed focusers, mm -hmm. um, uh, two inch 99% uh, reflective diagonals, a standard 8x50 finder. Uh, you get cradle rings and a Vixen-style dovetail. Mm -hmm. These are really popularly priced as well. I brought them in because of uh, people who want to do outreach. Mm -hmm. And um, a refractor is a great uh, telescope to do outreach with because of the contrast of it. Mm -hmm. but these are also f6.5, so they're great for deep sky observing as well. These start at 399 here on our NEF special. Mm -hmm. so we'll run through uh, the RTMC uh, program too through okay. the end of the month in May. Okay. Normally 499. This is uh, 649 for a five inch, mm -hmm. and 749 for a six inch refractor. Wow, incredibly, incredibly inexpensive. Yes. For, yep. for a nice refractor. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, this, we keep the prices down low for people who want to do outreach and for educators, and you know they work well for everybody. Sure, so. sure. And then down here, uh, you've seen that we have uh, a Dobsonian telescope. This mm -hmm. is a concept telescope, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, trust tube design. Um, uh, the idea of this is that uh, most of the components can fit in this box and be mm -hmm. closed up, and so you have a nice 
compact portable telescope. Mm -hmm. The poles uh, uh, stay attached, and so just with uh, two knobs, they attach uh, to the top and bottom, and uh, it's a quick setup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will take this. We had good response to it here at the show, and so we'll take this to the beta testing stage, uh, field test it with the amateur astronomers out there at some star parties. You may have seen us if you follow Explore Scientific. You may have seen us at star parties with prototype product. We let our customers actually see what we're working on, mm -hmm. okay? and uh, they give us feedback, and uh, that's how we improve the product. Perfect model. aspects of it before exactly. you yeah. give the customers what they want. Okay. So, do you have any sort of is there any sort of time frame set for the DOB yet, or is it a little, little I, I think too it early? More like summer next yeah. year. Okay. You know, yeah. Very like good. That. Very good. That's exciting. Yeah. It's beautiful, too. It's okay. a good-looking telescope. Thank you. So um, this was all designed in Germany as well. So huh. It's uh, got built-in fans and all the rest of it. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, And it will take digital setting circles. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be easy to use. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then we have our popular uh, ED Apos. These yes. are airspace triplets. Uh, these have been on the market for a while. Mm -hmm. um, continue to sell extremely well. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, you know, this is using uh, the Hoya FCD1 glass. Mm -hmm. Hoya is actually an investor into our uh, parent company, which is JOC. And JOC hmm. is an, uh, not only a telescope builder, a telescope maker, but they're an industrial lens maker. Mm -hmm. And they make lenses for Canon and Pentax and Olympus as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we, we have uh, a lot of optical expertise and a couple of thousand employees uh, actually making some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where all of our optics are fabricated is with JOC. Fantastic. Once we have the product, we go through, of course, testing in, in our uh, facilities overseas. But then as they come in, we we do inspections all over again and just ensure that uh, everything should, is as it should be. So. Mm -hmm. Terrific. All right. And then on the other wall here, we've got a couple of new additions to our line. Um, we added a carbon fiber uh, mm -hmm. addition to the... 5 inch telescope, and now I've added an 80 uh, carbon fiber mm -hmm. and a 102 carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. These will be a little bit more money than the standard white tube designs, but uh, mm -hmm. they have retractable dew shields, a uh, little bit improved uh, collimation system. Mm -hmm. so. Very elegant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, carbon fiber makes these telescopes a lot lighter weight, and so. Mm -hmm. You'll, you know, I've noticed a lot of people piggybacking our telescopes on top of other telescopes mm -hmm. as guide scopes or as astrographs. And, um, you know, carbon fiber is a great way to go for making a product lightweight. Absolutely. Plus it's other properties as well for astrophotographers. Right, right. Many benefits. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I didn't mean to race through all this stuff, but I didn't want to make the video too long. Uh, we're very happy to be uh, uh, with you at Astronomy Magazine, and uh, we'll see you out there.